In other news, Prime Minister Netanyahu is expressing cautious but confident optimism as he addressed the nation from his mandated isolation. Shalom lachem. Ani mdaber ma abidud. Beyom shishi ani yitzay menu. Bemotzei shabbat ani yilech leitchasen. Bikashti liyot al mechusan harishon kedel shamesh dugma velishachnea otchem. Shefshar leitchasen vetzarich leitchasen. Ad sof yane or yu lunu kan milyonim rabim shil chisunim. Ani amalti kashem mot kedel avi otam vani mvakesh mikem tishtamshu bahem. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu again promising to lead the charge in taking the recently approved Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine for coronavirus, and the vow in repeated efforts to galvanize support amongst the general public, which by and large is still skeptical of getting the shot over fears of a rush development. Still, with generally widespread support from the scientific community and a quickly rising infection rate, vaccines are seemingly remaining as the best option. Netanyahu now also revealing the order of preference for vaccinations set to begin in certain groups by as soon as next week, though exact dates still have yet to be determined. לא בעלי אלרגיות חריפות, וכמובן לא אלה שכבר החלימו מהקורונה. זה בסך הכל משאיר כשישה מיליון איש, יש לנו די ויותר לכולם. אם כולם יתחסנו, יהיה לנו עודפים רבים. As for the IDF, Israel's army plans to begin allegedly mandatory vaccinations for soldiers by the end of December. Meanwhile, in spite of overnight infection rates remaining at nearly 3,000 for the second day in a row, active cases now at upwards of 21,800 and the death toll at 3,040, Israel's coronavirus cabinet is breaking earlier promises to resume restrictions. Rather, public libraries may actually now accept visitors, in addition to museums, malls, and marketplaces that are already open. Netanyahu, meanwhile, urging the public to exercise their own self-restraint. <laughs> ויגיד, מה אני עושה כדי לשמור על הכללים? הנה, אני יושב פה בבית, ראש הממשלה, בבידוד, אני שומר על כל הכללים, זה מה שאתם צריכים לעשות. תשמרו על עצמכם, תשמרו על אחרים, אנחנו יוצאים מהקורונה, אבל אפשר לצאת ממנה בלי שום מחיר נוסף רציני, לא כלכלית, לא בחיי אדם, לא בבריאות. אנא עשו זאת, ולכו להתחסן.